Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Christy with Christy's Custom Creations. And today I'm going to be showing you an updated video on how to make these absolutely gorgeous epoxy glitter pens. I've got a few new tips and tricks that I have discovered along the way. So let's get started. First, you're going to need some Paper Mate Ink Joy pens. And there is a link down in my description box. I like to get mine on Amazon, there's a link below, so check it out. Okay, so here is the Paper Mate Ink Joy pen. It does have a rubber grip on it, which that's not a problem at all. The epoxy goes over the rubber grip just fine. We are going to start by twisting the tip of the pen off and taking everything out of the inside of it. Make sure and put the inside pieces in a safe place because if you lose them, you don't have anything to put your pen back together. Um, next after that, I like to take some pliers and I twist the clip off of the pen. Just twist it off and it comes off pretty easily. Once I've twisted the clip off, I take a little razor knife. Uh, I bought this one on Amazon. I'll link that in the, in the description below, so be sure to check it out. Um, but I, And I carefully, very carefully, cut the little nub from the pen clip off of the shaft of the pen. Um, you can heat it up a little bit if you want, but if you do, be super careful because if you heat it, it can cause the shaft of the pen to warp. So whenever you go to put the pen back together and put all the little pieces back inside, they may not go back in properly, which makes the pen really hard um, to get it to function properly. So be sure if you do heat it up, be very careful not to warp the shaft of the pen. Like I said, I just, I cut it off until it's smooth and there we go. So after that, I'm going to put these little pieces away somewhere safe so I don't lose them. Next, I'm going to take a piece of sandpaper and I'm going to sand the pen. I want to rough up any any surfaces on the pen. You can, you can sand over the little rubbery grip part too. It's not going to hurt anything. But just, just rough it up so that your spray paint and your epoxy has something to adhere really good to. Now that the pen is sanded pretty thoroughly, I'm going to take a damp paper towel and I'm going to wipe off any dust or debris that's left over from sanding. I'm now going to take a one quarter inch wooden dowel rod, which I purchased on Amazon. There is a link down in the description box if you would like to find it there. And I'm going to take it and it slides perfectly into the shaft of the pen. I'll take a little bit of petroleum jelly or Vaseline, slide the pen down onto the dowel rod so you kind of know like where the edge of the pen here meets the wood. And I'm gonna slide, put a little bit on with my finger right in that area so that if, if you're a little bit messy with your epoxy, it helps keep the epoxy from sticking to the wood quite so well. So preferably you don't wanna get epoxy off of the edge of the pen onto the wood, but sometimes it happens. In this video, we are going to be making multiple pens at one time. I took them outside, spray painted them a good base color with pretty much any kind of spray paint. And I've got a little bit of epoxy that I'm mixing up. Be sure to mix your epoxy thoroughly until you have a good clear epoxy. If you have any haziness or fogginess in there, it's not thoroughly mixed. All right, let's get started with the fun part. This first glitter is called Fairy Dust. It is by Berry Humble Glitters and it is gorgeous. We are going to epoxy this first pen. We're going to put a very, very light coat of epoxy onto the pen. I like to put it on using my pointer finger and I start at the middle and I push out towards the edge. You don't want to start at the edge and push in because if you do that, you can get epoxy inside the shaft of the pen 
which will totally mess everything up and make it where you can't get the pin back together. So start at the middle and push out towards the edge of the pin. And right here on the very edge where the clicker part goes, be sure to be very careful and just real lightly get the epoxy on it. Because like I mentioned just a minute ago, if you get the epoxy inside, it won't go back together. All right, I've got a good thin layer of epoxy on my pen and I'm just going to sprinkle a healthy amount of glitter onto the epoxy pen, making sure to get really good coverage everywhere. You can see how pretty this fairy dust glitter is and it it shines even more under epoxy it's absolutely gorgeous so i'm going to go ahead and sprinkle it again with another layer coat of glitter uh, just just to make sure i get any spots where the glitter may be trying to soak up epoxy just get super good coverage All right, our next glitter is by Glitter Bay Glitters. It's called Paradise. It's a very pretty light pink glitter. I'm going to put it on a light pink spray painted pen. Doing the same thing that I did before. Good coverage all over the pen. I'm gonna tap off any excess glitter and I'm actually going to take a small piece of wax paper this is somewhat of a chunky glitter, so I'm gonna put the pin inside the wax paper and I'm going to roll it. I'm going to roll it because I want that glitter to lay flat. I've found that putting it in wax paper actually works better than tapping it down with a gloved hand. So put it down in the wax paper. Be very careful because you don't want, um, you don't want to move the glitter around. You just want to make it lay flat. So put it in there, roll it, give it another good uh, layer of glitter Tap off any excess glitter again, stick it back into the wax paper, and roll the glitter flat. The next glitter that we're going to use is called Lipstick. It's also by Glitter Bay Glitters. It's a beautiful red glitter. It's got some a little bit of holographic tones to it. It's also a chunky glitter, so we're going to do the same thing that we just did with the last pen. We're gonna put it on, put it in some wax paper, roll it until the glitter lays flat. We'll glitter it again, and then do the same process with the wax paper again. Roll it in the wax paper so that the glitter lays down flat. I also like to take my finger and tap around the edges and just make sure that the glitter is laying flat around the edges and not sticking out at any kind of crazy angles. All right, this next color is called Poppin' Bottles and it is by Berry Humble Glitters along with Fluffer, which is also by Berry Humble. We are going to use these two colors to create the beautiful leopard print pen that everyone loves so much. So we're going to start with Fluffer in the white part where I painted it white on the pen and just get good coverage towards the edge of the pen and then whenever we get towards the center you want to hold the glitter a lot higher and sprinkle down sporadically towards the center because we're going to ombre the the gold popping bottles glitter into the uh, the fluffer so with the popping bottles we'll do the same as we did the fluffer we will start at the end and work our way towards the center. As we get towards the center, we're gonna be more, more light-handed with the glitter. We'll go back to the fluffer, fill in any, any little spots, and just, just try to get that glitter to, to blend together in the center where it meets as much as possible. You'll have to excuse my husband's legs in the window to my left. He decided to uh, 
come stand creepily in the window and watch me work while I was uh, filming. So uh, we are making two of the leopard print pins here. We're gonna use the same process as we did with the first one, blending the two colors together in a pretty ombre effect in the center of the pin. Now that we've got all the pins glittered, we are going to take this foam tumbler insert that I purchased on Amazon. I will put a link in the description box below. And we are going to attach it to this tumbler insert using some tape. So they've, it's got nice little grooves in it where the dowels sit perfectly. So just set the dowel down into the groove, throw a little tape over it, and then I turn the spinner on so that it it moves to where I can put another pin on and I'll work my way around the tumbler insert taping the wooden dowels with the pins on them all the way around it. And there's my husband again, standing in the window, staring creepily while I work. So I decided to do a sixth pin, and this is called Naughty Bowie, the glitter color is, and it's by also Very Humble Glitters. And I'm gonna use the same process, put it on the pin, glitter it up, and then after that, we will tape it to the turner along with the other five pins that are already on the turner. I let the pin spin for about two or three hours until the under layer of epoxy is completely dry. And then I put my first coat of epoxy on the pins. I'm gonna go ahead and speed this portion up. Um, otherwise we would be here all night long watching this video. So I'm gonna speed it up and you can just see how I put the epoxy on the pin. It's gonna be very similar to the way that I put the initial layer of epoxy on before we glittered it. I'm gonna start in the center and work my way out, being extremely careful not to get any epoxy inside the pin because we want our pin to go back together like it's supposed to. So whenever you're spreading the epoxy over the pin, make sure start at the center and push out. Push your finger out and to apply the epoxy, rather than using a whole glove for these little bitty pens, um, I just got a little finger cot that I purchased on Amazon. I'll link that in the description box below for you as well. It's perfect for small product uh, projects like this. I do want to mention that if you found this video helpful, please be sure to hit the like and subscribe button below. And if you wanna be notified whenever I post new videos, hit the little bell and it will notify you anytime I post a new tutorial video.
Okay, now that our pins are epoxied and I've got them all on the turner here, I'm going to throw one more piece of tape around the turner just to make sure that it is super secure. I've also found you can put rubber bands there and that works really good as well. Uh, while they're spinning, I'm gonna hit them really quick with a torch just to pop any little micro bubbles that are in there and to make the epoxy super smooth. After this first coat of epoxy over the glitter, I always add a second coat of epoxy just to get it really smooth prior to sanding my pens. Now, once that's dry, once a second coat of epoxy is dry, it's time to sand our pens. And initially, I had recorded the whole sanding process of me, um, or I thought I had recorded the whole sanding process of me sanding these six pens, but for some reason, I thought I hit the record button and I didn't. Um, you can see how I'm sanding this uh, red glitter pen, and it was, as you remember, a chunky glitter. And so I'm just, I'm knocking off any little bumps. That second coat of epoxy got it pretty smooth, so not really any many bumps to knock off, but um, also sand around the edges, get any epoxy off that may have uh, gotten off the edge of the pen. Also take a little uh, knife, a little blade, and you can scrape off anything that has gotten on the edge of the pen there as well. Just clean it up real nice, make it real smooth so that we can get ready to put our lettering on it. Here they are, all six of them, super smooth. Now they are ready for a bath. So I'm going to wash them all with Dawn dish soap. Dawn dish soap, it's gonna cut any oils and it just, it cleans them up really well. It gets any of the dust and debris off from sanding them. So I'm going to wash them real good, dry them off, and then they will be ready for our vinyl decals. All right, they are cleaned up and ready to go. So I have cut two names in this white vinyl. I cut the name Ashley. Um, my best friend ordered a couple of pins from me. So these are actually her two pins, the red one and the blue one. They are her two pins for her job. So I am, I'm going to weed the vinyl here and I'm going to use my little pick tool to pull any little bits of vinyl from inside of the letters. I want to note that I cut the names to be a one half inch tall, so 0.5 inch tall, by four inches long. And I've found that that size fits perfectly on these pens. I like a longer font for these pens because obviously the pens are long. Uh, this font name is called I Love Glitter, and it is perfect for these pens. You can add these pretty little swirly heart things at the end that it helps, helps the name stretch the length of the pen. All right, now it's time for the leopard spots. And I cut this with black vinyl on my silhouette. And I'm just going to weed this out, leaving the black leopard print spots behind. All right, now I am going to take my transfer tape. Uh, I purchased this transfer tape on Amazon, just like I have purchased just about everything else um, that I use for crafting. I buy literally everything on Amazon. It's so awesome for 
a a nice one-stop shop so anyways I'm going to take my transfer tape I'm gonna put it over the two names that I cut and then also over my leopard print spots I'm gonna take this little squeegee tool also bought on Amazon and I'm going to um, push the transfer uh, tape down and they are ready to go I'm doing the same thing here with the leopard spots and just cut a piece the size that I need. I'm going to lay the transfer tape down onto my cut vinyl. Take my little squeegee tool and I really like this one because it has foam at the end so it doesn't like scratch my vinyl or anything like that so it, it, it helps push that transfer tape down onto my decals really well. All right, it is time to put my names here on the pin. And I'm just going to pull the decal and the transfer tape away from the backing. Line the name up on the pin so that it's centered. And then just set it down into place. Once I've got it on the pin where I want it, I'm going to take my finger and smooth it down. You want to make sure and press it down really good so that when you pull the transfer tape up, it doesn't go anywhere. I'm also going to take my little squeegee tool and, and press it down really good too. All right, once I'm sure that it's on there really secure, I'm going to pull the transfer tape away, leaving our beautiful name Ashley on the pen. We're going to do the exact same thing with this next pen, so I'm gonna speed the video up just a little bit, and we're going to, we're gonna center it up, stick it on there, smooth it down, same routine we just did, and then we'll pull the transfer tape off. All right, now for the leopard print spots. We're pretty much going to do, do the exact same thing that we just did with the Ashley name on the two pins, on the red and blue pin, but I'm gonna trim a little bit closer to the leopard spots here, just so that whenever the leopard print wraps around it, it's not like wrapping back around onto the transfer tape. So I'm gonna put it on the pin where I want it and at a, like a good starting point and I will, I'll press it down, smooth it out with my thumb, and then just, just wrap the, the decals around, or the, the leopard print spots, around the pin. And as you work your way around the pin, make sure and smooth, smooth it out and press it down real good as you work your way around. Once the decals are on nice and secure, we're going to pull the transfer tape off, leaving behind this beautiful leopard print pattern on this pen. All right, so there we go. These are the four that we decaled. We're going to put them back onto the wooden dowel rods 
so that they can be epoxied. And I decided to just leave them on here rather than taking the dowel rods off and having to tape them back on. I just left them on there while I epoxied and it was just fine. Just make sure you get the epoxy all the way around the pins and be, like I've said it before, I can't stress it enough, be careful around the edges of the pins with the epoxy. So there we go, it's ready for epoxy. So I'm gonna get my glove. Always make sure you use a glove when you're putting epoxy on these cups. Don't do it with a bare hand. Number one, it's not good for you. Number two, that mess is almost impossible to get off. So make sure you use a glove. This is the last coat of epoxy going on these pins. So make sure that you get really good coverage. Uh, work really carefully around the edges covering up all of the areas that we had sanded because if you if you don't cover the areas where we sanded it's going to be a dull spot it's just not going to be pretty so get good coverage put a, a decent layer on there you don't want it too thick because you don't want a wavy pen you want it to lay really flat so like like i said don't make it too thick but also don't make it too thin just just use a decent amount of epoxy without overdoing it I also want to mention, because I don't think that I mentioned it before, that these Papermate Inkjoy pens are refillable. Uh, you can find refills for them, but honestly, if you can't find the refills for them, buy a couple of blank pens, take the guts out of them, take the, uh, the ink part out, and, and stick it into your pen once you run out of ink. These things are too pretty to throw away just because it's out of ink. So. Keep in mind that they are refillable and you can always put another ink, ink part, whatever, pen <laughs> inside of it. All right, now that we have got our last coat of epoxy on our pins here, I'm going to take my blowtorch and I'm going to make a pass across the pins real quick. Be fast about it. You don't wanna burn the epoxy, but you wanna do it really fast, pop any micro bubbles and get that epoxy super smooth. All right, this is the last spin for these beauties before they are ready to go. I'm gonna let them spin for about six hours or so, and then they will be ready to put back together. So look how gorgeous this is. We're going to get out all those guts that we took out earlier. And we are going to put them back into the pin like they came out. So you put the little silver piece down in there, the clicker in there. And then you put this little black piece in there. The skinny part goes in first. Put the ink section in there. And then we are going to take the tip and screw it back on. And there we 
go. Completed pin. As you can see, these pins are super easy to make. They're super fun and they are super beautiful. That's a whole lot of supers, but try them, make them. I just, I love how they turn out. They make great gifts. They make great sellers. So try them out and make them. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below and I promise you, I will answer your questions. If you found this tutorial helpful, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to see more videos like it. Also be sure to check out some of my other videos on my playlist, more tutorials and product reviews. Hope y'all have a great day. Y'all take care. Bye.